Hi guys, Tiffany here. So this is totally not a scheduled video, but I did tell you I was going to make a video on putting my ironing board, the bigger homemade ironing board together. And well, I couldn't make a regular video because my tablet decided to freeze and now I lost everything and I had to reset everything. So, hi Diane. Um, I have just decided to just make it alive so you guys could just watch me put it together. It's kind of hard to pay attention to this screen. We are in my garage, like always, except the door is open, so there might be some kind of glare, but you guys can at least get the general idea of me putting this together. Um, so far I have a sheet laid down because I'm actually just going to cover my ironing board with a sheet. Um, and when you guys see this, yes, the wood is kind of, oh, it was a scrap piece of wood, so we just cut it down to size, but, oh well, it's going to work for me because I'm pressing on a regular ironing board how it has that curve, and it, it catches the quilts, and then it just yanks on the material, and then it causes this weird, like, bubble, so when you lay a quilt out flat, it is, and ends up not being flat whether you pressed it or not because it stretched those fibers out. So the only way to take that away is to spritz it with water, let it shrink back down, and then iron it. So I'm going I'm going to use two layers of batting and then a cotton sheet for the top of my iron yeah, board, where the great. iron surface. And if you hear Scott or Cyrus in the background, that's because they're getting yard sale together and ready out on the driveway part of our house. So. I'm just doing this here, so I'm going to move this phone out of the way. I won't be able to see all my comments. I'm going to kind of just put it there, and I'll glance at it, and you guys can just watch me put it together. Uh, Scott or Cyrus is going to help me in between all the things that they're doing, because once I get myself on the floor, it's hard to get myself, myself back up again. So I'm going to put this over there, and you guys, if you have any questions or anything, whatever, but for now, just watch me put it together. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I have a sheet laid down on the ground, and I have it nice and flat, as best as possible, and it's on a piece of cardboard, because the cardboard is uh, making it nice, and then, where did I put it, okay, so I Franken-pieced some batting together. So I am using two layers of batting, and I cut it a little bit bigger than it needed to be, so I'm just going to lay it on here. And my cardboard is kind of like the size, it's smaller, but it's the length of what I need, so I pretty much know where I need to go. And I'm just using an 80-20 because it's the batting, so it's not going to matter. It's going on the inside. It's not seen. It's like in a quilt. And I'm doing two layers. So I'm going to lay this center of the other one. Or we can bring a couch over and go out. Careful, the legs on that thing work and stop walking. And I'm going to straighten this out as flat as possible because I'm going to have the husband come over and turn my ironing board surface upside down on top of the center of what I just created here. I'm trying not to have any wrinkles. I'm trying to de-wrinkle it. Oh, he disappeared over there. So I guess I'll just turn it upside down all by myself. It's not really that it's heavy or anything. It's just now I'm awkward position. So, very awkward position here. Okay, so I'm going to lay this down. I'm going to try to center it on here. 
and we bolted this wood to the um, ironing board. So it actually has bolts, so it's connecting it. So my ironing board, once I adjust this center real quick, my ironing board still goes up and down. And I can actually just leave it down to make it more convenient. Oh, this is so hard to do. Nice and okay, flat. CJ. Sticking out all the way around it's at least a little bit. Keeping so everything nice and tight underneath. The whole purpose is to keep it nice right. and tight. Now I'm going to cut a bunch of extra away. And I brought over some scissors. I don't want to cut things away, so for now I'm just going to cut right here off. Move it out of my way. Oh yeah, that's plenty. So I am going to make sure that this is sticking out. You have seven people watching. Table's going I'm trying to keep it really nice and very, very, very tight. So I'm going to start with this side first, and I'll cut away my excess in just a second, as soon as I know that I'm at an equal point. Okay, this can get open. Bring the other one out a while. I'm going to cut it right here now. Cyrus. I know where I'm cutting. It's nice and centered. And I just save all batting and fabric from this. And I can use it as stuffing. Everything extra, that way, yeah. and this side. Don't worry about it. About this much, I'll cut away. What do you want this back? Somewhere around here, I see. Make sure I'm cutting even the sheet, because obviously I can miss that. Not straight whatsoever, but I don't care. Take them out. Take them out. We're gonna get this out. All right, guys. So what I'm gonna do now. And I'm going to start with my center right here. And I'm going to fold this over and I'm going to pull it really nice and snug. And I'm going to throw the staple right there in the end. I'm going to pull it nice and snug. Throw the staple. Pull it nice and snug. Throw the staple. 
come about right here, and I'm going to leave the end open a little because I'm actually going to miter the corner so that it lays nice. And I'm going to start with this side first, getting it nice and tight, keeping your fingers out of the way. Yeah, you don't want to stay with your fingers. No, you don't want to stay with your fingers at all. I'm going to leave it open right there. And now I'm going to come over to the other side. And now is where I'm going to pull it even tighter. If I can see, sorry for the noise. If I can see that side being yanked, then I know I got a really tight ironing board. So I'm going to come up, throw the staple in there, scoot down a little. If I can see the other side being pulled, I know that I'm getting it nice and tight. Throw a staple in. I'll obviously put more staples in the further I get, but for now I'm going to just make sure I'm pulling everything nice and tight. Yeah, I don't think they're all there, so give them a mic for free. All right. Now that that's all ugh, nice and tight, I'm going to fold these ends in, creating a, a miter right here by throwing this in first, pulling it at the edge in the corner. I'm going to throw a staple in. And I'm going to fold this right up to it, and I'm going to fold this right up to it, creating a miter right there. I'm going to throw nice and flat in there. I guess I'll just make it nice and flat before I staple. Pretty much creating a V. And this one will do the same thing. Create a V right there. Throw the staple in it. I'm going to pull this edge up in the center. Throw the staple in. Again, I'm going to put my corner up. Throw a staple in it and create a miter right here by holding the end in, creating a big V. It's kind of like how when you upholster furniture, I don't know if anybody know about upholstering furniture, but this is pretty much the same concept. Now that the side's done, I'm going to close my little corner off. Add the rest of my staples. Oh, need more. So I need more staples. We have plenty of staples, honey. I'm trying to make sure I need Get more from here, right? the same size throughout the whole project. Make sure you, making sure it's nice and tight right here. And now I'm going to come to my far edge and I'm going to pull it nice and tight. And I'm going to attach this part right here first in the center, keeping my project nice and tight. Again, I'm going to make my corner right here. It's like I'm making a little square. Put some fabric down, holding it in. And fold in 
this other side in. Now it's got staples the rest of the way down. Looks good, Jacob. You're doing good, honey. Pretty much putting two in between every hold down that I did. Pulling it as I go. And keeping my fingers out of the way. aren't bigger than your wood that you're using when you're making one of these. So this is quarter inch wood. I'm using quarter inch staples. That looks like plenty. So here we go. Let's see. Can you lift this up for me, please? Of course. It's kind of heavy for me. That looks beautiful. So, it's not straight by no means. But the wood wasn't straight. But the wood was not flat, so here's my new... Ah. This is my new ironing board. See how it... Kind of sags right here on this end, but I don't really care because that can just be the back side. So here is my project. And I used a cotton sheet to cover it because it, you know, you can iron cotton and it's fine. It is nice and tight and it's very batting. You can see my fingers yeah, pushing in. So it'll allow so steam to go through. To but yeah, else. there's my wonderful project. And that's how the bolts are in. We used washers to bolt it in. This was an old ironing board. Because if you see over there, I still have my other ironing board. This was an old one, so it's bolted in with washers. And we set in the screws on the top. So yeah, even though it sags over there on this end right here, I really don't care. And the cool part is it can still go up and down like any ironing board should. So, and I can lean it up against a wall. I'll do that right now real quick for you guys, and then you can see. See, I can even use it low. <laughs> but, snap it down, and there we go. I have a regular movable ironing board. Look at that, guys. A conversion. <laughs> An ironing board conversion. So, and it's not... It's not too heavy. I can move it around this way. I think it's just kind of wide for me, that's all. But, 
from ironing queen and king, this is definitely 100% an easier thing. See how easy I can do that? Oh yeah, look at that. There we go. I have an ironing board. <laughs> we, we centered it so it wouldn't be messed up. So, hi guys. <laughs> um, so, yeah, my garage is a disaster, as you can tell, because tomorrow is yard sale day at our house. So, I am trying to get my stuff into the house so that the yard sale stuff can come out. <laughs> and everything that was against the walls, because my sewing area is going inside. I won't be inside in the next few days, but little by little. So, my ironing board is made. Yay, I have a, a custom big, huge board. It's like 50 inches long by 26 inches wide. So that's actually pretty good. All right, guys. So I figured I'd show you guys that live. It's connected to my ironing board. We would have showed you that part, but it had tablet issues. Like, oh, my God, let me tell you. But I'm worn out already. I'm tired. And it's time to eat. <laughs> so bye, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I would see comments, but I can't. I'll just read them later, though. So bye, everyone. You said these scissors could go right?